Porto Stewart Private Game Reserve, situated in the southern Free State province of South Africa, is a premier local and international hunting and wildlife destination. Abel Erasmus, owner of Porto Stewart, tells a story from where his passion for hunting and wildlife was born that resulted in the establishment of this iconic private game reserve. My passion for wildlife started when I was a young child in the Maasai Mara in Kenya. My father was a gold miner and of course those of you who know it was right in the most famous Mara reserve and um, my mother and father instilled in me the love for nature and I'm so privileged that I can now be the custodian of this lovely part of our country. I traveled far and wide across South Africa to find a large enough piece of land where I could reintroduce uh, the animals from uh, Winterzoek and um, I was fortunate to be introduced to this part of the world uh, where I could still get a large tract of land. I actually made an offer to two farmers to buy their land and added another three farms to now have 14,000 hectares uh, piece of land. The hunting area comprises of some 25,000 acres of land, devoid of any fences, devoid of any tar roads, national roads, provincial roads. This is just a piece of virgin land with 25 species of huntable animals roaming the area. First of all, as far as service and um, comfort is concerned, whether you're South African or you're uh, from any country overseas, the level of service is the same to everybody. I can truly say today that we can offer very good trophies. You are reminded that we select our animals. You've seen the male animals in the camp. We allow them to grow out for five years. And of those, there's only very few that make the cut to become breeding stock. And then those that just didn't make the cut, which are exceptional hunting trophy animals. When you get home in the evening, you're tired. You can rest up in a four-star lodge where you have uh, a proper restaurant, uh, local cuisine. Then of course the first-time hunter or the guy that has problems with bringing in his rifle, we've got rifles for hire. We uh, collect the animals from the hunting area, we skin them in a proper hygienic slaughterhouse, they go into refrigeration and then we deal with uh, the carcass as uh, circumstances allow. From my previous experience at the Winterzoek I realized that hunting alone will not be able to sustain a property like this. So inevitably one had to bring in higher value animals and that is why we have the scarce breeding projects. The origin of these rounds are actually Malawi. Uh, the famous Johan Crick imported these rounds from Malawi and I was instrumental instrumental in helping him to uh, bring the animals in and um, I had the opportunity to buy some of these animals. Of 
course there were challenges. As you can see, it's a very harsh area. Uh, it is relatively cold, so for the roan and sable, it was difficult to get them to adapt to this climate. But as time went by, uh, we came, became more aware of what to do to sustain them. And I must say, I'm very glad today that uh, we've got these herds running and they are doing exceptionally well. And that we can now even offer them to other potential game breeders and farmers. The special group of sable originate from Malawi. I was also instrumental in helping Johan Creek at the time to bring the animals in. And uh, some of the females also came from uh, Dreyer van Seil, who was one of the pioneers of breeding uh, sable. Uh, the bulk of them were gathered at Winterzoek and with the sale of Winterzoek uh, they came to Otto's Kloof. We are very proud of our buffalo herd. They are in extent of 130 animals on the property. Uh, the uh, herds consist of two breeding herds. Then we have on the bigger farm for hunting, we have about 40 animals. And we also have our bull camp where we put the young bulls in, grow them out and then select them for breeding or for going into the hunting camp. These buffalo were found in Madikwe and uh, when Madikwe had their first auctions we were lucky enough to buy the best of the best uh, from Madikwe. Now this was towards the late 90s. So this has been quite a closed group and we have selected them every year. So we are very confident that we have one of the best average group of buffalo in the country. Otters Kloof animals have been selected for their genetics, especially the scares game. And it has happened over a long time, actually over 30 years. You are to be reminded that I owned the Winter's Hook uh, game farm as well. And these genetics have been built up over 30 years. So uh, they are some of the best on the market today. And I feel the stock levels have reached a point where we can now start uh, selling into the market without damaging the uh, good DNA features that our animals have. We will continue breeding good animals and we will continue giving the hunters the real hunting experience.